didn't crash on takeoff. Uh, there's lots of positives. Not sure how fast we went though, so that's what we're going to go and discover now. Let's see how fast it went with the GPS. Do you see it? Where's it gone? It was here. Oh, there it is. Well, it's sort of in one piece. It's a bit dug into the ground. Look at this. It's proper stuck in. Oh my God, it's actually wedged in. God, I can't actually pull it out. <laughs> I cannot actually pull this out of the ground. Oh, there we go. So the big question, how fast did it go? Okay, so stop, read. 200 oh. kilometers an hour. 200 kilometers an hour, exactly. Look at that. That is spot on. That is pretty impressive. Right, let's see how badly damaged the aeroplane is back at the workshop, and then we can see if it'll ever fly again. So we tried to fly the aeroplane again, but unfortunately ran into more problems with hand launching, and unfortunately, we weren't able to get the aeroplane back up in the sky. The aeroplane was just too unstable and just ridiculously hard to keep level. I had to take a really big run up to get the right airspeed and yeah, it was almost impossible. I kept damaging the aeroplane and we had to keep going back to the workshop and going back out again to the field. And yeah, unfortunately on one of these tests or one of these attempts, the aeroplane plowed into the ground and was instantly written off. So this aeroplane is pretty much destined for the Project Air Museum now, but it's um, yes, we've definitely learned a lot from it. So long burn rocket engines, will I be using these on the next aircraft? Well actually if you look at the test flight footage it seems that the aeroplane sort of ran out of space when it was still accelerating. So I had to pull up and sort of bleed off speed in a turn and that meant that the aeroplane basically killed off some of its potential with how fast it might have gone if this was uh, using all of its fuel up in a fraction of the time. So I think I'll be going back to using sort of shorter burn, more violent rocket engines in the future. We got it in the air that one time and managed a pretty impressive top speed of 124 miles an hour. We actually doubled the top speed of the stock aeroplane, or pretty much did. It was, I think, 10 miles an hour off. So we've learned a lot from this part of my rocket plane program. And in the next video, I'm probably going to be starting work on a brand new type of rocket propelled aircraft, although it's gonna be very different. So if you wanna check that one out, make sure to subscribe so you get notified. And also check out another video in the meantime while you're waiting for the next video on Project Air to come out. I think you'll like this one too, so click on that one next. Thanks very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.